push out there to the general body so we can start thinking about these things. Informal proposals generally will not be voted on in the same GA. Hi again, my name is Mark. I'd like to make an informal proposal that we nom I nominate and would like to would like for us to elect after some consideration just to the um, City Council Liaison Team Committee. Sorry to talk so much tonight. Uh, I have an informal proposal I'd like to uh, introduce to you all. Uh, I think the informal and formal proposal <laughs> process need a little, little more kind of definition. And what I'm proposing is that uh, all proposals first come to the General Assembly as an informal proposal, uh, and then that there be five minutes of discussion for people to voice their concerns about what's being proposed, and then closing off discussion. If individuals are, are, are feel strongly about this, I would encourage people to come together and form a special work group for that singular proposal, work on it over a day or two, and then it could be introduced within 24 hours uh, or, or a couple days if they want to hash, hash it out. But then uh, ideally proposals should be written by more than one person uh, to show collaboration and that it, it's a developed idea and that uh, the General Assembly still can uh, hear and adopt proposals the same day uh, by using an expedited process where if uh, we have uh, the modified consensus of 95, 90% saying we should vote on this tonight, that, this, that that's something we could still do. Uh, this is the informal part of uh, my proposal and I'd like to follow, follow this up, but uh, anyone interested in uh, working on that with me? Uh, let's let's make it a formal proposal. Thank you. Thank you. It is my understanding that we attempt to do what you say. Um, it's not happening, though. It will. It will. Um, just kind of going off of what Silver said earlier, with the meetings never, uh, not really starting on time. Um, I like to propose informally that um, we gather all the facilitators 30 minutes prior to the actual start of the meeting so that we will know who is facilitating and not have to worry about corralling facilitators at the last minute. We have a direct response from Josh. It was actually passed during GA, I believe, last night or the night before that there were two structured times. One was like 15 minutes before the morning GA and the other was 30 minutes before the evening GA that facilitators get together. So I, I don't know how to address that if we just need more can you, people. Can you speak up a little, Josh? Uh, it was at... Point of process. Point of process. Do you have a point of process? Are facilitators allowed to make proposals when they're facilitating? Oh. Mm. Yeah. No. Sorry. <coughs> yes. Anyway, to uh, finish that direct response real quick, um, it's actually passed a couple of GAs ago, and the facilitators would meet early, so this could go out to anyone who is interested at all in facilitating, and please be interested in facilitating. Just, just meet. You know, if anyone's curious about, it, just meet during those times. I believe it's 15 minutes before. And please correct me if I'm wrong. 15 minutes before the morning GA and 30 minutes before the evening GA. Does that sound right to yes. those who are there? Cool. Maybe there could be a location so you don't have like different groups of facilitators meeting and then getting confused as to who's facilitating. Is there some uh, non-official consensus to the amphitheater yeah. beforehand? Why don't we just post a place and a time up on the billboard so nobody gets Would you, would you like to make an informal proposal about That's that, job? I informally propose that every day facilitators meet 15 minutes beforehand for the morning GA and 30 minutes beforehand for the evening GA. This means anyone interested in facilitating at all, if you see that people aren't coming to meet beforehand, <laughs> you just go 
and try to make facilitation happen because there's a very small pool of these people who are willing to stand up here and help us all have this discussion. So if you haven't facilitated before, it'd be a really, really, really good thing to do for everyone to just come up and learn how to do it. So everyone meet in the amphitheater? Yeah? Cool. Okay, Claire passes then, so we go to Nathan. Hey, y'all. Hey. hey. I just wanted to say, uh, me and a friend gave facilitation workshops last week. Um, we're trying to get it together. We're not sure when it's going to be exactly. It'll be later this week sometime. We want to do kind of a, we did a like facilitation 101 last week, and now we want to do a like facilitation 102. Um, and so just keep your eyes peeled for later this week doing facilitation trainings where we're going to have mock meetings and people taking turns facilitating those. And just a pointer as someone with facilitation experience, if you're in a working group or want to become involved in a working group, um, those meetings should be facilitated as well. And that's a perfect place to practice those skills in a smaller scale with a lot less pressure. So just throwing that out there as someone with some experience on that. Thanks, Nate. I believe over the weekend, Graham discussed uh, meeting at 6 o'clock uh, to go over facilitation for an hour before GAs and 10.30 in the morning for a half an hour before morning GAs. It hasn't happened since then, but I believe that was discussed over the weekend. Okay. Uh, do we have any other informal proposals to go over? Sir? I'd like to propose that I be allowed to step down as temp check and someone else take my place, please, because it is a dire emergency. You may go. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We have a phone? Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Thank you Joe. Joe. All right, so no more informal proposals? Anybody? All right. We're now going to formal proposals. Thank you.